YouTube. We are back with another banger. I just got back from the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, we lost, but it was a great experience, you know, being a part of 49ers and working for the 49ers. So that's always cool. Um, so we back to the off season and gonna try it again next year. It's really not the off season for me because I have events and appearances I have to do. Um, but this video is special just because it's a little different. Uh, we're about to go into the car scene a little bit. Basically, we're gonna be doing some mods on the Charger today. Um, might be able to get two videos today, but uh, we're gonna put the white tail lights on and we are going to put the diffuser on the back of the, the Charger. So it should look pretty dope. But first, you already know, we gotta get a look at the car and we gotta get a cold start real quick because Basically, I've been gone for Super Bowl for like a good week and a half. So like I drove it home yesterday once we got back to the stadium from the airport, but it's really been sitting at the stadium for like a good week. So um, it'll be cool to get a little cold start. Uh, I haven't gotten the muffler, de muffler delete yet. Uh, so that's going to be something that we're going to be doing probably either towards the end of this week or next week for sure. Um, but we're going to have a lot of videos coming for y'all on this Dodge Charger. Um, a lot of mods, a lot of stuff coming. Uh, so let's get with it. Let's get to this cold start real quick. Um, so yeah. All right. So this is my baby right here. We're about to pull it around to the to the uh, to the garage so we can start getting some work done on it. Um, but here's the cold start. Got a few things I gotta do today. I gotta go pick my dog up from the border too. So I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all along with me on that, but we for sure gonna get these mods done today. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of different lane. I'm gonna start trying to get my motorcycle and my car into the channel a little bit, just so I can have a, a wider range. Um, and I know a lot of people have been trying to figure out like what the next step is for the channel. Unfortunately, um, I was not able to vlog our season with the 49ers just because of confidentiality rules. Um, and it's a little bit harder in my, my lane, of course, um, but I will be able to get y'all a little bit of stuff. So again, we about to get straight into the diffuser and the tail light since my car is white i did go with the white uh tail light strip uh just because i thought it looked cleaner a lot of people are blacking out their tail lights which i might end up still doing but right now i just wanted to go with the cleaner like just white look just because i think it looks better on my car of course um but, or maybe I should have just like whited out, I mean, or blacked out the actual tail light and then put the white trim around it. Um, but either way, it's gonna look clean. So um, y'all stay tuned. Like I said, this video is gonna be super heat. I hope my chain gang still rocking with me. I hope they still watch my videos, but this is not a tutorial video by any means. I, I really don't like doing tutorial videos just because I suck at explaining stuff. So, uh, like I said, we gonna put this diffuser on. We're gonna put these white tail lights on. Um, and it's just gonna be a vlog. Like, that's just what it's gonna be. All these car videos are gonna be vlogs. If I could get a tutorial video in there somewhere, maybe down the line, maybe we'll try that. But I'm not really interested in tutorial videos because I suck at that. So, you could like or watch to your pleasure or whatever. But, um, like I said, this is diffuser, uh, white uh, tail light install. Um, and also I do have a wicker bill. I got that in the mail as well, but I'm not quite ready yet to put that on. We'll probably do that later today. Uh, if we have time, um, if not for sure tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to get started with the video. All right, YouTube. So we are back. Got my mic hooked up, picked up the dog from the, um, kennel. Um, he got a bath. He's all fresh. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to work on 
the tail lights. So basically like this red part right here will be white. Um, I know my car's a little dirty, it's been sitting, so we're gonna go take it to get washed after everything has sat and is in good. First thing you wanna do is make sure you prep it, prep the area, and basically you just wanna clean, 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 clean the surface area of where you're gonna be working at. Uh, make sure you got like a little blow dryer or a heater or something so that once everything is on there, you basically lock it in pretty good. Uh, so that's the first thing. Again, this is not a tutorial video, so I'm probably gonna time lapse me actually doing this because this is my first time. Watch a couple videos, don't know if it's gonna turn out good or not. So um, we're gonna get straight to it. First, we got the tail lights, and then after that, we'll do the diffuser. Um, I also forgot to mention that uh, when I bought the diffuser, wicker bill, and the lights, I also purchased tire letters. Um, so those will come in probably in a couple of days. Um, they gotta customize them so it'll take a little bit longer than all the other stuff. Um, so we're gonna do a video on that too. got the first one on. I ain't gonna lie, that was actually kind of, that was more harder than I thought it would be. I kind of figure out the gist of it and like how it works. Um, I was kind of just winging it. Um, it says it's supposed to come with like a little squeezy thing, but, or maybe I read it wrong, but it, it didn't. So I just used like a little card, uh, but basically uh, just kind of sitting it on there and it really allows you to adjust um, according to the light. Um, so. I was able to kind of slide it around. Um, I did see <clears throat> one guy cut this piece off on the side. Uh, so what you want to stay away from, I suggest, is just cutting that. I would just say fold it back around so you can get like the tightest fit and the cleanest fit. Um, but I mean, all in all, the first piece is on. Uh, it does look super dope. Um, so we're going to continue with the rest of the light. Um, I'm going to try to do both uh, tail lights first and then I'll move to the actual uh, back brake light um, after that. is complete tail lights are done it looks great in my opinion it came together well i will say that the sides were a little bit harder than the middle the middle was like easy and i, I don't know if it's because i started with the right side first and i kind of didn't really know what i was doing but the middle part like as soon as i placed it on there it was perfect you know it wasn't like super hard or anything. Uh, once you place it on this like piece here, it kind of just slides on there, right? You know, you just want to make sure you get it wet enough. You want to make sure you get the surface enough uh, wet just so that it slides right on. Um, like I say, I, I do recommend tucking the sides just cause you, I mean, you can kind of see right here. Um, and I am going to go back over all of this with the heater. You want to make sure you tuck the sides only for the simple fact that if you cut them, it's gonna look kind of weird just because like, it's not a clean, like, I mean, you might be able to get like a perfect cut, maybe. I mean, if you that guy or if you just a professional, but I just tucked it just because when you seeing it from the back like this, you can't really tell. The main thing you wanna do is just make sure you line up this right here and that right there. Cause if you don't line it up right, it's gonna look weird. It's not gonna be, 
you know, set properly. But all in all, I think 10 out of 10, it's, it's super easy to install. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Now I'm gonna go back over it for a little bit. Don't wanna watch this car or the car that you are using or prepping or whatever for at least two days, only for the simple fact that this could possibly come off. I mean, even if you put the heater on it already, it could possibly come off. So I know my car is a little dirty, um, but again, I'm not gonna wash it for another two days just because I do want my wheels to sit in because I did plastic dip those. Um, and I want my stickers and everything to be set in too. So another two days, I will wash my car. It came out really, really good. So I'm gonna touch up that and then we're gonna move over to the diffuser. So we got the box open, we're gonna take it out. All these parts I did get from eBay. I'll post all the links below just so everybody can kind of see like, you know, what options they have. Um, they have carbon fiber, they have matte, they have the gloss, which is what I chose. I chose the, the gloss black. And it's really just a preference. Like I could have went carbon and I almost did order carbon, but to be honest, I never see like the gloss black. So I was like, oh, let me just get the gloss black just cause I thought that the gloss, gloss black was super, super dope. Um, I've seen the carbon. Um, I've had the carbon on one of my other cars before. Uh, so it's like, let, let's try something new. Hopefully nothing is damaged or broken. All this stuff did get here before I left for Super Bowl week. Um, so hopefully it was all safe and sound in the closet. And again, I'm hoping I can get this on. Everybody says that the diffuser is like the easiest thing to put on. And from the videos I watched, it looks pretty easy. Um, it's literally just a plastic piece. And I think you just kind of like pop it on. And once you pop it on, you put all the screws back in. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, really, really, really hoping that this is super easy. Cause if it's not, <laughs> I'm, I'm just not good with stuff like that. So, and it also looks like I can already see, you kind of got to like, yep. Those drill some holes in, which is cool, because that means you're gonna get a tighter fit. Them pre-drilled holes, that never works out. I had to deal with pre-drilled holes on my motorcycle, putting those fairings on. I did that whole bike by myself, and it took me hours because the manufacturer, which is in like China or Korea somewhere, sent me fairings with pre-cut holes, and it was a fucking nightmare. We we're gonna put this on. This is what it looks like. Looks like this, super dope. Um, and then again, we are gonna do a time lapse. So hopefully this goes right. Um, I'll try to get this initial one off and I hope that I don't break nothing because it looks like they give you, they give you the screws for the actual like screwing in, but then I think the outside pieces are like little, like weird rivets. So I'm hoping that I don't break those because I think I might have to reuse those. So we're gonna see, we might be able to reuse the screws that are in this car already. Um, hopefully they're not too bad or hopefully I don't mess anything up, but it is good to know that I have extra screws if need be. Um, so I'm going to take the original one out right now um, and then we're gonna time lapse it. So we finally got all the screws out. <sighs> it wasn't as bad, but I also don't have the right tools. So it was a little bit harder for me. Um, so now we're gonna try to pop this off. About to do. So it's coming off pretty, pretty good. Comes right off. Uh, 
I was kind of scared for a second because I didn't see how this goes in. But now I do see and it's kind of easy. So I literally see people like slamming this shit in. So that's what I'm about to do. Alright, so we was able to get the diffuser on. Um, I pretty much just used the same screws that I took out. It did come with some silver screws, but they ain't had no washers. And I think washers are pretty crucial in this point. Um, just because the hole is a little bit bigger um, than, or you're going to need to make the hole a little bit bigger. Um, I did use a drill bit to kind of like push a hole through there um, because it, it came like pre-done but you wanna like make the hole a little bit bigger so everything fits perfectly. So um, as y'all saw, I did kind of like push the, all the rivets in. And again, you order the right thing, it'll fit perfectly. Um, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Um, like I said, we did the white lights right here um, and we did the diffuser um, and I think it looks amazing. And then I'll let y'all check out the rims too, just cause my car did come with silver rims. I didn't like it at all. I did the rims myself uh, just to have something black for right now. Um, I'm going to get tire letters next week. They are coming in. They are already ordered. I ordered it with all this other stuff, but they haven't came in yet. So I got everything done within about like an hour and a half, two hours total. Um, I was taking breaks in between. Had to go pick up one of my boys from school. Had to go pick up my dog. So I think all in all, like this is a great buy. Um, I will post the link for the white lights in the description as well as the diffuser. Um, and I got the diffuser, wicker bill, white lights, um, and I got the um, tire letters all from eBay. So I'll post that link um, in the description. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it wasn't a tutorial, um, but say hi, Jackson. Say hi. Anyway, so that wraps up today's video. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all continue to watch this transition, um, and y'all will see my bike on the channel soon too as well. like the content y'all seen today make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on all your notifications and make sure y'all stay tuned up and up to date with everything i have going on